Does anyone remember that video game, Gotham City Imposters? No, neither do I. I don't even know why I brought it up, to be honest. Here's the intro. Hi guys, Billy back and this time we're going to be comparing the Mezco Clan Prince of Crime Joker versus the Mezko Clone Prince of Crime Joker. Now I've got everything out on display as you can see and I've got them relatively in the same sort of pose and you can tell straight away which one is the official and which one is the KO. Everything on the left from the teddy bear onwards is the official, everything from the right from that teddy bear onwards is the clone and that's very obvious to see mostly because everything is about 10 to 15 percent smaller than the official it's not a massive margin and if they weren't shown together you probably wouldn't have been able to tell but yeah there is a shrinkage in the figure simply because of all the recasting okay coming up together you can see that the uh, clone is a recast of the official and also the details drop down with every mold you make that's why there is far more detail in the official than there is in the KO. We can see the paint application on the heads is both fairly nice, but you know, turn it around to the back and we can see that the, uh, there is a lot more blending on the official, whereas the one on the right is a bit more of a hard lined sort of paint job. The colors are a bit more expressive on the left, whereas the uh, one on the right has got a lot more of a darker flat green. And the lips are far more cleanly painted on the official, whereas on the KO it's a little bit more messy, as are the teeth. And you can see also in the eyes, the detail is a little bit more subtle in the official, and the KO has a bit more of a sort of bulginess to it. Coming down to the shirts, the collar on the official is really, really nicely stitched and very straight, whereas it's very messy on the KO. Same with the waistcoats, messy stitching on the KO. The official has a lot more of a cleaner stitch, but also at the same time, we can see that the uh, color of the orange is a lot more vibrant than it is on the clone. Same goes for the purple, and even the arms have been recast because they've shrunk down. Looking at the trousers, the lines are a lot more clean in the official bit more blurry in the uh, KO and also it's a little bit more of a darker hue to those KO trousers. Coming up to the belt, the belt has been shrunk. These knife sheaths are shrunk and glued in place whereas on the official they're able to be moved around to how you see fit and also the paint application on the official is nice and clean whereas on the KO it is far messier. Same goes for the boots, the detail is stronger in the Mezco, whereas in the Mezco they're a little softer and the paint application is far stronger on the official. Okay, taking a look at the canes, we can see on the left is the official, on the right is the KO, and the left one is a lot more bright and shiny and vibrant with a little bit more detail in the face, whereas it's shrunk down on the KO and lacks a little bit of detail and is a bit of a duller color. And we can also see that there is a wash in the official whereas it's just a, a plain flat gold on the KO. They're both pretty much the same length though so that's not so bad but you can see the tips is much cleaner on the official KO messy. Secondary head sculpts the official looks very nice and clean has a bright a vibrant green in their hair whereas the KO is just everything is 15% less. But when it comes to jokers a bit of mess on the face paint isn't so bad it's kind of in keeping with the character to be honest. Turn it around to the back. The official on the left has got that nice blending, whereas the one on the right just looks like they used a sort of thinner wash to uh, slap some green in there, and it's far harder lines, and there's far more obvious mold lines on the KO. Looking at the teddy bears, you can see this is a straight up recast of this. The paint application isn't so bad on either of them. Everything is just a lot more neater, and there is a much darker, deeper wash on the official and it's less shiny, whereas on the KO, everything is a bit more dull, a little bit more flat, and the wash is just, yeah, it's uh, almost non-existent. It's still there, but it's just not as good. But you can see the details in the official are far better. It's a much more tighter paint job than on the KO. Taking a look at the submachine guns, we can see that the official is a lot cleaner painted. The 
KO is a bit more of a cheap paint application. It's a bit more shiny. And the handle on the official is far better blended on the official. Whereas on the KO, there are again, more hard lines, especially in both the front handles here. And there is a much better dry brush on the official, whereas almost non-existent on the KO. Here is the official, here is the KO on the gun effect. We can see there is a more of a gunmetal bullet effect on the end of these, and it's far nicer blended, whereas the yellow on here, going into the clear, is a little bit more of a hard line. And also these are reasonably straight, whereas this one is a, a bit bent and warped and it probably needs warming up and fixing. But overall, neither is that bad and they actually look pretty effective and both can be used for any figure really. And let's just compare two hands rather than just getting them all out and comparing them one by one. That would bore the life out of me and you. But let's have a look. Yeah, the one on the left is official. The one on the right is a knockoff. And we can see that the uh, applications again are a lot tighter on the official, whereas they're far more sloppy on the KO. And we can see the studs are just blobs of paint, whereas they've actually tried to make them look like real studs on the official. And that, that's, that's across the board. Sloppy is the best word for it, but it's still, it's not bad for the price. In comparing the knives, we can see that the official one is a little bit larger. The lines on the official are very nice and clean, whereas on the KO, they're a bit more sloppy, but neither is too bad, if I'm honest. From a distance, you can barely tell, except for there is a little bit more of a slapdash paint job on here, whereas this one is very clean and looks very shiny and metallic. I know we're gonna ask, can the official head sculpts go on to this clone? So let's try it, shall we? See if they actually fit on there, or if it's just gonna look horrendous. Um, they kind of pop on. They, they're sort of a bit loose on there, but that's not too bad, is it? That looks pretty good, if I'm honest. The KO takes the head sculpts pretty nicely. Um, I think they sit a bit far down on the collar, but that's technically because of the shirt. It sort of sits much nicer and lower down on the official Whereas on the KO, you know, everything is just a little bit more disheveled and messy. I have tightened things up in the clothing area, but still, it's, it's, it's the stitching that lets it down a little bit. But, you know, if you wanted to um, use one of these to show off that second head sculpt you got with your official version, that's not a bad shout to do. And if you had two of the official and you were using one for each head sculpt, you could let one of the officials go and let another collector have it. On the left is the official, on the right is the KO. We can see everything is a little bit more brighter and softer on the KO, whereas the yellow is a bit deeper on the official, as well as the green, and it's a little bit thicker print, whereas it's a lot more softer print here. So yeah, you should be able to tell the difference between these two simply by how bright the green is and how light the yellow is on the KO, as well as the arms. The arm here has bubble effects on the inside, so that's how you can tell there is a KO. Whereas the official one does not have any bubble effects inside. Okay guys, hope that helps. At least you'll be able to spot a clone in the wild now. Just in case, God forbid, somebody ever tries to palm one off on you as an official. But you should be a bit more aware of what is and what isn't a knockoff. But also at the same time, it will be able to decide whether or not this will be good in your collection. Or if it's just not of the quality that you would prefer to mix with your official Mezcos. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. If you do me a favor now, if you get the fuck out of my cave, I'm gonna try and get this guy into my Batmobile display somewhere. I don't know where. He might even be hiding inside the Batmobile somewhere. Ooh, that'd be a good idea. Bye bye guys.